Step number one to getting a thousand subscribers on YouTube right now is making sure that you're paying attention to a secret setting that so many people don't even know shows up in their video, and that is WPS. If you don't know what WPS is, essentially it's your words per second, AKA the pacing of your video. And the reason that so many people are clicking off of your video is because your pacing is either too quick, too slow, or what's even worse is it could just be slightly off. Now I'm about to share with you exactly how to find your WPS and three other steps that are gonna help you gain a thousand subscribers on YouTube right now because ultimately, if you wanna get paid from YouTube, you need to make sure that you have more subscribers, which is why you need to make sure that you smash that subscribe button because if you wanna grow quicker on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, I literally upload a video about how to grow on these platforms every single day. In addition to that, I created a free YouTube growth course. You can get at the link in the pinned comment below. Please, if you're serious about growing on YouTube, you need to be in this. It's going to tell you the best time to post, whether or not you should be using hashtags or even the best hashtag to be using in your niche and so much more. Finally, here's my phone number. Please hit me up. I want to help you grow quicker on social media and that is my only goal. To actually calculate your words per second or your WPS, you need to do two different things. First, you need to go to your competitor's video and in the first 10 seconds, you need to figure out how many words that they say and then do the same thing for your content. And I bet for 99% of you, you're going to find a huge discrepancy and that discrepancy is why people are clicking away from your video, which ultimately leads to less watch time, which also leads to less people actually seeing your call to action in your video when you're telling them to subscribe. And this is the reason that you're not getting subscribers. So many of you right now, especially with YouTube Shorts, are getting views. You're getting 100 views, 1,000, 10,000, some of you, maybe even 100,000 or a million views, but you're not getting subscribers from it, and it's because you are not focused on the words per second, which isn't getting people to the call to action in your video, which ultimately is leading to a decrease in views. Now, that's not the only thing. There are three other things that we need to make sure that we cover. And step number two comes down to understanding the difference and the fine balance that needs to be taken through exploration and exploitation. If you don't know what that is, exploration is when you're testing new things. This could be a new title, this could be a new type of title, this could be a new type of video. Exploitation is when you're going based off of something that you already know to be true. For example, I know that this video is going to work. I know this video is gonna get a high click through rate. A lot of you guys are gonna watch it because I created the same exact video a year ago and it did really well. I think it got over 450,000 views or so. Now I'm taking advantage of that again because I know that there are new people that wanna grow on YouTube. There are new people that wanna get subscribers on YouTube and more than not, people don't have a 1,000 subscribers which is exactly why this video works and this highlights my point between exploration and exploitation. Now what you need to be focused on is the balance that you're striking between the two of them. I strongly suggest that 70% of your content should be exploiting what already works and 30% should be exploring new things. Way too many of you get out of balance and it's leading to you not growing quick enough. For example, if you're too far in exploitation, then you're not doing enough to find the next thing. Eventually, people are going to get bored and they're going to unsubscribe from your channel, which is probably a problem that a lot of you guys are facing. Or nobody's going to subscribe because they watch your videos and it's the same thing over and over again. Now, of course, sometimes I get comments that say, Rob, you say the same thing in a lot of your videos, but that's fine because it's not 99% of people and it's not causing a lot of people to unsubscribe. And then the same thing is probably true for you. So you need to make sure that you're actually able to strike that find balance. But we can't stop there. There are two other things that I need to make sure that you're doing if you wanna get more subscribers on YouTube. And the last thing that I'm gonna share with you is by far the most important, so please make sure you stick around for it because it's something that 99% of you are messing up and ultimately it's going to be the reason between whether or not somebody actually subscribes to your channel. But before we get to those next two things, I need you to understand something. It is easier to grow on YouTube right now than it ever has been before and you need to make sure that you're taking advantages because if you fail to take advantage of this opportunity, you are not gonna be happy. I missed out on Vine, I missed out on Facebook, I missed out on the beginning of YouTube. In fact, I would have millions of subscribers right now had I been on YouTube earlier, and the same thing applies to you. It doesn't matter what niche you're in, there's a golden opportunity right now for you to grow. It is easier to grow than ever before. There's more opportunity, there's more money coming to the platforms than ever before, so you need to make sure that you're taking advantage of this. Now, step number three is making sure that your videos are actually the right length. You do not wanna go through the process of scripting a video, creating a video, coming up with a topic for a video, creating a title, creating a thumbnail, editing the video just to find out that the video is the wrong length. This should be the first step that you actually be going after after you know the topic, the piece of content that you're gonna be creating. You need to come up with a topic, which I have several videos about how to do this if you don't know how to do this because it's one of the most important things when it comes to actually getting views, but this video is about getting subscribers. So YouTube is going to analyze your content to see whether or not they should push it out based on the length of your content. Let me give you a perfect example. If you make content about fashion or weight loss or fitness or anything, it doesn't matter what niche you're in, there's going to be an 
audience that watches videos that are of a certain length. I'll give you a perfect example right now. This video is probably gonna be around 10 minutes long. It's going to get pushed to people that watch 10 minute long YouTube videos. There's a huge subset of people that would watch this video if it was five minutes long. Those people probably won't see this video and it's going to be one of the reasons that I create a similar video to this but make it five minutes long. You need to make sure that you're focused in on this because so many of you are just creating content aimlessly right now. You're creating content that is not the right length and that is why the YouTube algorithm isn't pushing your stuff out and that is why you're not getting subscribers and ultimately that's why you're sitting here watching this video because you need to be paying attention to this. So when you search for a topic that you're going to be posting about, look at what the length is on the other videos and make sure that your video is around that length. It doesn't need to be down to the exact second unless it's a YouTube short, but you need to make sure that it's around that length. And the second part of this equation is making sure that your content constantly has things going on. If you don't, you're going to lose people. It's going to decrease your watch time and ultimately nobody's going to end up subscribing to your channel because nobody's going to see your videos. Now, one big statistic that you need to be aware of with this is the seven second rule. If you didn't know, our attention span seems to wane off at seven seconds. So you need to take this into consideration in your content and you need to make sure that every seven seconds there's something else going on, especially if you're creating shorts content because if not, you're going to be losing people. Now, before I share with you the fourth and final tip, which is by far the most important if you want to turn your views into subscribers on YouTube, I need to give you guys a bonus tip, and that is that you need to be focused on your actual audience on YouTube. When too many of you are focused on going viral, you're focused on your competitors, you're focused on the algorithm, replace all of that with your audience. You need to be serving your audience. If you're creating comedy content, you need to actually relate to somebody. If your content doesn't take off, it's because you're not relating to somebody, and you need to start by relating to an actual group of people, aka the audience audience that you're going to be going after. If you try to just make something that's funny just to one person, well then guess what? Nobody's going to watch your videos. You need to make something that is funny for a group of people. You need to be serving a group of people and there are so many people out there. It could be people over the age of 50 that want to lose weight. It could be kids that want to end up saving money. It could be kids that want to end up making money online. It doesn't matter what the niche is. It could be men that want to have better fashion tips. It doesn't matter what your niche is, but you need to be serving those people. And when I say serving those people, especially you small YouTube creators, that means responding to every single comment. That means doing polls on the community tab. That means looking and asking these people what kind of content they wanna see or what other things that they struggle with. I don't respond to every single comment anymore on YouTube because it's just uncontrollable. I literally get comments every 30 seconds and I wouldn't be able to answer all of them. But I scan the comments every single morning. I look at what you guys are saying. I look at what you guys are struggling with. I look at what other videos you guys are watching and that helps inform what kind of content I'm creating. You need to make sure that you're doing the same thing if you're a small YouTube creator. And finally, you need to make sure that you have a call to action in your videos, but you need to make sure of a few different things because so many of you mess this up. One, your call to action cannot be something like subscribe for more videos. Nobody wants more videos. Did you listen to the call to action that I gave you in this video? It was subscribe if you wanna grow quicker on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok. I know that you wanna grow on those platforms in specific on YouTube because you're watching this video. You need to do the same exact thing in your content. For example, if you make Fortnite content, I would make a call to action, subscribe if Fortnite is better than Minecraft, or subscribe if you wanna know more Fortnite hacks, or whatever that video is. The same thing with weight loss. Subscribe if you want to lose 10 pounds with men's fashion. Subscribe if you want to be better with fashion. Whatever the case is, you need to make sure that you're actually making the call to action for something that the audience already knows about, something that the audience already wants, and it needs to be a confirmation. If it's not that, they're not going to subscribe. People don't want to see more videos. They want to see the outcome that they're going to get from your video, so that is what your call to action needs to be around. That being said, if you're still struggling to get subscribers, you're still struggling to get views on YouTube, and you know that you need to take advantage of this opportunity because it's the easiest time ever to grow, and I need you to keep watching this video because I've got a special offer for you. Finally, I just launched my YouTube Shorts Mentorship Program, which guarantees that I can help you grow on YouTube in just 30 days. If you want to find out more, go to the link in the description. But to put it simply, you're going to go through a six steps of becoming a YouTube Shorts expert. Then I'm going to make you a personalized plan. I'm going to tell you exactly what to post, what titles to use, what thumbnails to use, what descriptions to use, what tags to use, what your content should actually look like, how your editing should be, and so much more. And then for the next 30 days, I'm going to critique your content to guarantee that you grow. It's incredibly simple. If you don't grow on YouTube in the 30 days, I'm going to give you your money back. Zero questions 
questions to ask. This is not just a course. This is not just information. It's me actually telling you exactly what to do, critiquing you, consulting, me coaching you on how to be a full-time YouTuber, how to grow on YouTube, how to reach your goals on YouTube. And again, if you don't grow on YouTube in the 30 days, you get your money back, zero questions asked. There's absolutely no risk for signing up. The only risk is not taking advantage of this situation right now with YouTube Shorts and growing on YouTube. So please do not be somebody that does that. That being said, if you're not interested, just watch the next two videos I'm gonna put up on the screen because they're the videos that YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.